What's going on guys? It's Jake here from Chief Live Gaming. Today, a painting tutorial on these new Adeptus Custodes models from the Burning of Prospero box set. These guys are so detailed, so ornate, and just absolutely fantastic. I had a very good time painting these models, and I hope this tutorial will help you guys if you decide to paint your own Legio Custodes. Custodes? Custodes? You know, I don't really know how to pronounce them, but I know that I love the models. So there's four main things we're going to cover in this tutorial. We're going to cover the gold sections, the red sections, the gemstones, and the power weapons. There are a few other detail things that you might want to do to these models, such as the eyes, the white that you can see there on the banner, a few other very minor details. But we're not going to cover those in tutorial here. We're going to get the main bulk of the model painted and let you guys take care of the rest. So I want to mention before we start the hilts of the power swords that you see there and the guardian spears, the bolter chunk of the guardian spear. I see a lot of people that paint those in black or in uh, maybe a metallic color. That's up to you guys. I decided to leave them gold just because I thought it would look pretty cool to have just a ton of gold everywhere, really ornate, sort of uh, very elite troops defending the emperor here so there's just gold everywhere that was my thought my take on it i'm gonna leave that up to you guys but we're not going to cover it here so let's get right into it guys and start off with this tutorial i hope you enjoy it so i want to show you guys the two main colors we're going to be using here on the bulk of the gold these are two model air metal colors by vallejo we're going to use the gold color to base coat most of the model and then mix in some of the copper to do some shadow work, paint in some shadows. So this is going over gray primer. If you guys want your models to pop a little bit brighter, you can prime in white. If you want them to be a little darker, you can prime in black. All right, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to do is paint the gold of the model, which on these is most of the model, let's be honest. There's a lot of gold here. So Vallejo Model Air Metallic. This is gold right out of the pot. You're going to want to do at least two or three coats to get a nice strong tone built up. And then what I did from there is I took the copper color that I showed you and mixed it about 50-50 with the gold just to get a darker, kind of more robust gold and what I did was paint shadows with my airbrush. So you do kind of like a Zenithal style where you come in from the bottom of the model. A lot easier if they are not on bases, but if you did put them on bases, you'll still be able to paint in those shadows. It'll just take you a little longer. And I think that turned out pretty well to get the majority of the gold sort of at a stage that was good to move to the next steps. Moving on to some brushwork, we're going to pick up a black wash and just do a full model wash on all this gold. So this is really going to help pick out some details and contrast because of how detailed these models are. That wash will sit in the crevices and make things really start to pop out nicely. So now we're going to pick up that Vallejo Model Air Gold and do a dry brush or overbrush on the entire model. This helps clean up some of the spots where our wash was a little messy or kind of gave our, our model kind of a dirtier look that can sometimes happen when you do a full model wash. So this stage really does help clean up some of those mistakes or messier areas. For the last step on the gold, I like to do a light dry brush with a silver metallic. Now this step is kind of an optional. It'll give the gold a little bit more of a worn and tarnished look. If you want your models to look more clean and uh, less kind of worn out, you could go ahead and skip this step. It's just kind of a personal preference kind of thing. Now that the gold is done on this model, it's time to work on the red areas. So what I like to do is base coat red with Citadel Corn Red, just a nice kind of dark color. And you may need two coats again to establish a nice strong base tone. After that red dried, I did decide to give the red areas a black wash. 
And then I moved on to some highlighting. So what we're doing now is just dry brushing. And this is Citadel again, Waz Daka Red. So it's just a little bit brighter than Corn Red. And we're gonna move up with different layers of highlighting. And this is a kind of a careful dry brush. Again, because we did do that black wash, it made those flat areas look messy. So we're gonna try to cover most of that up with this Waz Daka Red. But we do want some of it to show through because it does give the cloak a little bit more of a realistic look to it. To finish off the red areas, we're gonna do two more levels of highlights, both dry brushed. The first is going to be Evil Sun Scarlet, and the final one will be Wild Rider Red. So make sure to do slightly lighter with your dry brushing each color that you move up so you get more of a highlight, covering less and less of the model each time. And with the final color, the Wild Rider Red, I do like to come in with a bit of an edge highlight on some of the folds of the cloak and just the sharp edges to really make them pop out. The next thing we're going to want to take care of on these models are the power weapons. So we start off with a base coat of Vallejo Model Air Blue. This is just a darker blue. Make sure to get a nice strong base coat established before we pick up our airbrush again. The color scheme I went with on these power weapons was pretty simple. I wanted the blade to be darker towards the hilt and just brighten up as you got towards the tip of the blade. So very simply I just started with Vallejo Model Air Pale Blue and kind of painted up starting very near to the hilt towards the tip, added in a couple drops of white, went a little farther up the blade and painted another layer, kept doing that. And as you get closer to the tip, you're adding more and more white into your paint and uh, making it a lot brighter. So just take your time with this guys, keep doing some nice light layers and you should get a pretty cool power weapon gradient. Once the airbrushing is done, I like to finish off the power weapons with an edge highlight of white and then a glaze uh, of your choice. I usually use the blue, uh, it's called Gollum in Blue by Citadel. And that kind of is a, a nice light blue glaze to tie everything back together and make it look a little more cohesive. So the last thing I wanna show you guys in this tutorial is the War Colors technical uh, gem effect. So the first thing you do is you use their metallic white paint, put it on all the little gems. There's a lot of them hiding on the armor, this very ornate armor for these custodes. And then you come over the top of it with the sapphire gem. And you can use any color you like. They have a couple different options for you. And these are very similar to Citadel's gemstone paints. Just provides a really, really cool gem kind of uh, bright an interesting effect. And with that, we're pretty much done, guys. Just a little bit of uh, detail work to do, stuff like the eyes on these models. But the bulk has been completed, and really, it's not so bad. These models look very intimidating, but there's a lot of gold here. Once you get the power weapons, the gold and the red out of the way, there's not much left. So I really enjoyed painting these up. I think they're gorgeous models, some of my favorite to date. And they're a pretty, uh, they're quite good in game too, which is always a plus. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Please let me know what you think down in the description below. I really do appreciate your comments, your feedback, and uh, your support. If you want to follow along with what I'm doing a little more actively, get more updates, work in progress shots, and other stuff like that, I do have a Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook, all three, linked down in the description below. Check them out if you want. Until then, guys, have a great day, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye now.